Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I decided to do a video on how to teach you guys how to determine how many batteries you need or what alternator battery combination you will need to power your system. Because that's a question I get a lot of times. Uh, how many batteries do I need or what type of alternator I need? Today, I'm going to introduce you to an equation that will help you to be able to determine that yourself. <clears throat> okay? In order for us to do some of the calculations, you'll need to be able to go to this website because it has a Pukert calculator. That's the equation we're going to go over today, the Pukert equation. And uh, this website right here has a calculator and it does all the work for you basically. So the website is www.geocities.com forward slash hempev, H-E-M-P-E-V forward slash battery.html. And this B right here needs to be capital or the website will not come up. So www.geocities.com forward slash hempev, H-E-M-P-E-V forward slash battery.html with a capital B on the battery there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is uh, take a look at the Pukert equation. And uh, what the Pukert equation basically does, it tells you how long a battery can sustain a particular amp load before it dies. And the equation looks like this. What this basically is, is some amount of current to the Pukert exponent times multiplied by time equals, equals the Pukert capacity. And that website I gave you guys helps us to calculate uh, the coefficient and the capacity. So basically, once we have these two numbers, we can plug in a time here, say we want to be able to play our system for 15 minutes. It'll tell us how much current that particular battery can handle. Or we can plug in a current like I want to put, be able to produce 400 amps for some amount of time and it can tell us how, how long that battery can give us that. So, let's look at a particular system. Okay, uh, this is from a YouTube user. Uh, KNR227. They told me that they had a um, 2500.1 kicker amplifier. Look that amplifier up and it'll draw 300 amps. They also told me that they had a power acoustic QV2 2600 amplifier and that amplifier will draw a maximum of 75 amps. So total current draw is uh, 375 amps. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this network and then we'll uh, go to the website and uh, plug in some values. But for this system right here, we're going to have a load here. And over here, we're going to have our alternator. Alternators are a current source, so they look like that in a circuit diagram. This right here is going to be our load. So we're going to have 375 amps of load. And let's say that it's just your standard car. So we'll say that you're going to, the car is going to draw 75 amps. 14. So a total load of 445 amps. So let's go ahead and put that right here. 445 amps of load. And we'll say they haven't upgraded their alternator yet. So we'll say that this alternator is producing 90 amps. Okay, they told me that they had a yellow top under the hood. So let's go ahead and draw that battery in here. And we'll label it yellow right here for yellow top. And we'll assume that they have a starter battery and we'll just assume that it's an optimum red top. Okay, now, if we want to know 
how long they can turn this system all the way up before it dies, the Puget equation will tell us that. And right now, I'm going to show you guys how that works or how you can calculate that. Okay, so go to that website that I uh, told you about. Okay, and when you go to that website, you're going to notice up at the top, it lists a whole lot of batteries and it gives their Puget exponent and their Puget capacity and other stuff about the battery. Scroll down past all that to, towards the bottom and you'll see the Puget calculator. And uh, I want you to go to this part right here of that website where you plug in your uh, 20 hour capacity and your reserve. That's where I want you guys to go. When you actually go to it, it'll be blank. It won't have any values in there. So let me go ahead and erase these values out of this one. Okay, so like I say, I scroll down till you get to uh, this part right here where you're plugging in your 20 hour capacity, your reserve, and then uh, this thing will actually calculate your Puget exponent and your uh, Puget capacity. Okay, so you're down there to that area. Okay, now, when you look up the specifications on your battery, in order to calculate your Puget, you're going to need to know how many uh, amp hours that battery is and how many minutes of reserve it has. I actually looked it up for these two batteries. And the Optima Red Top is a uh, 50 amp hour battery. And it has a 104 minutes of reserve. The yellow top is a 75 amp hour battery and it has 155 minutes of reserve. Okay, so we can actually plug those into this uh, equation and it'll give us our Puget exponent and capacity. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. 20 hour capacity for the red top is 50 amp hours. And the reserve capacity is 104 minutes. And you hit the calculate Puget button and it'll fill that in. And if you look right there, see how it filled in your Puget exponent and your Puget capacity? Those are what go into that Puget equation that I showed you earlier. Okay? So once you've done that, we have that information. We can scroll down on the website a little bit and there's another calculator down at the bottom. And that's the one that's important to us. Okay, because what it'll allow us to do is we can plug in a current and it will tell us how long that that battery can produce that amount of current. So let's see how much current each one of these batteries has to produce. We've got 445 amps of load. Uh, amps of load and our alternator is producing 90 of that already so we can subtract off 90 what is that is that right man okay 355 amps that have to be produced by these two batteries. Okay, so each one of those batteries will bear an equal amount of that load. So if we divide this